in the previous session we learned about uh, percentage composition empirical formula ion molecular formula in the mole concept chapter so today we are going to learn about the next concept that is gay lussac's law of combining volumes so before we learn about gay lussac's law of combining volumes which was given by gay lussac we need to understand or uh, do a small revision what we learned in grade 9 that is about gas laws boyle's law and charles law what we learned here there are three variables pressure temperature and volume and uh, boyle robert boyle what he did he kept constant temperature and he studied what happens to the volume when pressure is changed and he arrived to this equation p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 is equal to p3 v3 is equal to so on which is constant then charles what he did he kept pressure constant and he studied what happens to the volume when you change the temperature so he arrived to this equation where v1 by t1 is equal to v2 by t2 is equal to v3 by t3 is equal to so on which is constant k means constant finally you arrive to the gas equation by combining boyle's law and charles law which is uh, p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 okay this knowledge is also important you should not forget it because you already learned grade 9 you finished your exams okay there is no need of these laws no once you learn it you should know it now come to gay lussac's law of combining volumes so as the name itself tells it is about the combining volumes only applicable for gases not for liquids not for solids for example when you take nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas so what you can expect when they do they to react ammonia which is also a gas at room temperature so if you balance this it will become two this will become three what gay lussac told that when gases react means nitrogen and hydrogen both are gases they are reacting they bear a simple ratio between their volumes so what this coefficient uh, tells us the three number three and uh, before this nitrogen there will be one number and here two number what is this coefficient representing if it is a gas it is representing the volume means nitrogen is one volume reacts with three volumes of hydrogen and produces two volumes of ammonia he told that when gases react they do so in volumes which bear a simple ratio simple ratio here one is to three between nitrogen and hydrogen and also to the volume of the gaseous product if formed so here ammonia is a gaseous product so it has the volume two so you can see the ratio is 1 is to 3 is to 2. That's it. This is the Gay Lussac's law of combining volume, provided you have to measure all of these at same temperature and pressure. Say nitrogen, hydrogen, you should take them at the same temperature and pressure and make them react, and you have to measure the volume of ammonia at the same temperature and pressure. Right. So one more example if you want. Say carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen and gives what uh, carbon dioxide so if you consider room temperature carbon monoxide is gas oxygen is gas carbon dioxide is also a gas so if you balance this it will become 2 co plus o2 2 co2 now can you guess what may be the ratio between these two or these three yes so here two volume of co one volume of oxygen Two volumes of carbon dioxide so this is a simple ratio simple means if you have the volume like this 4 is to 2 is to 4 this is not simple you can still simplify this you can do it 2 is to 1 is to 2 this is simple ratio right so next write down the definition of gay lussacs law of combining volume along with this note so when gases react they do so in volumes which bear a simple ratio to one another and to the volume of the gaseous product provided that all volumes are measured at same temperature and pressure 
note what you have to write this law is applicable only to gases the volume of solid or liquid is considered to be zero nil you don't consider it right so if you have written this let's take the examples okay first numerical on this what volume of oxygen would be required to burn completely 200 ml of acetylene formula given c2h2 and what would be the volume of co2 formed right so first step what you have to do is write a balanced equation you have to identify the reactants and products so from this information you know that oxygen is there acetylene is there so both of these are reactants so you will write c2 h2 which is a gas plus oxygen which is also a gas and what would be the volume of co2 found means co2 is there with the product side okay and one point you remember here whatever hydrocarbons hydrocarbons means the compounds containing carbon and hydrogen like here it is acetylene ethane ethene methane okay these all are hydrocarbons means they contain carbon and hydrogen when you they undergo combustion combustion means what burn okay so when they burn they will produce two products water and co2 this is complete combustion okay incomplete means it will form a co instead of co2 but uh, usually they will give you complete combustion only so therefore what is one more product you can expect here is water okay so water at room temperature will be what liquid so that is also important state of matter is important next thing what you have to do is balance the equation balance the equation what you will get here c2h2 plus o2 stop the video and balance it i'm going to tell you the answer now 2c2h2 plus 5o2 gives you 4co2 plus 2h2o okay now what you got we got the volume it means two volume of acetylene requires a five volume of oxygen and when it uh, reacts it will form four volume of carbon dioxide and here nil because it is liquid water is liquid you should not consider its volume okay it is not counted here fine this is as per what as per gay lussac's law this you have to write according to or as per gay lussac's law okay if you don't want to lose marks so let me write it according to gay lussac's law so here what do you need two volume of c2h2 requires five volume of oxygen but what they have asked here what volume would be oxygen required to burn complete 200 ml of oxygen therefore 200 ml of c2h2 requires how much 5 by 2 into 200 so 2 this so you will get 500 ml of oxygen i know this is very simple calculation you may already know already all answer for all the things but how do you how you have to write it in the exam this is how you have to write otherwise you will not get marks okay so then what would be the volume of co2 form so to to that so this is first point you found oxygen second point two volume of c2h2 forms how much volume four volume of co2 therefore 200 ml of c2h2 forms how much 4 by 2 into 200 so 2 2 so it will be 400 ml of co2 okay so this is your answer what is oxygen required is 500 ml carbon dioxide formed is 400 ml
okay easy calculation but these things you have to write according to gay lussac's law this 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 and all you have to write okay so if you are good with this let's go to the next one t see if 6 liter of hydrogen and 5.6 liter of chlorine are mixed and exploded what will be the composition by volume of the resulting gaseous mixture very important resulting gaseous mixture so what they have done they have taken one closed container okay in that they put this one what gas this is hydrogen gas okay and they have also put a gas which is chlorine gas and they exploded it what you what will form hcl will form right okay they have asked us in this container what is the resulting gaseous mixture what and all things are present first thing what you have to write is already you know you have to write the balanced equation what are the reactants here hydrogen which is a gas chlorine which is also a gas so when they react you will get 2 hcl which is also a gas remember hcl is a gas you don't call it as hydrochloric acid this is hydrogen chloride so when you dissolve this in water it will be called as hydrochloric acid okay but at room temperature it will be in pure state it will be gas now volume according to gay lussac's law gay lussac's law okay from now onwards you have to do that as uh, yourself okay this is one volume this is one volume this is two volume very simple but it means what 5.6 liter of chlorine and 6 liter of hydrogen they have given 5.6 liter of chlorine the ratio between hydrogen and hydro uh, chlorine is 1 is to 1 therefore hydrogen also will be used is 5.6 liter but uh, what they have taken 6 liter of hydrogen means therefore there is some unreacted hydrogen unreacted hydrogen why it is unreacted because it has no chlorine to react with 6 minus 5.6 0.4 liters right so where it will be it will be in this container only okay in the resultant gaseous mixture you will have 0.4 liter of unreacted hydrogen okay what else product obviously will be there two volume means what 5.6 into 2 you do into 2 2.11 so 11.2 liters of hcl will be formed so hcl formed is equal to 11.2 liters okay therefore final answer resultant gaseous mixture contains what both you have to write first unreacted hydrogen is equal to 0.4 liter second hcl formed how much 11.2 liters so this will complete your answer okay so always you have to read the question understand what is asked what is missing you have to know that okay let's take the next one pause the video try it yourself what volume of propane is burned for every 100 ml of oxygen in the reaction so they have already given you balanced equation uh gas volumes are measured under same conditions okay so there is no big deal here from the equation what you can find is one volume of propane requires pi volume okay they have asked only what volume of propane is burned for every 100 ml okay one volume require five volume means for 100 ml of for 100 ml of oxygen how much propane would be burned 1 is to 5 means 20 ml right so the answer should be 20 ml of propane that's it they have not asked anything about the products at all correct so let's go to the next one ha huh. again pause the video try to solve it yourself 80 cm cube of methane methane means what ch4 is mixed with 200 cm cube of pure oxygen means mix means this 
at room temperature and pressure. RT means room temperature, P means pressure. The mixture is then ignited, means you are burning it. Calculate the composition of resulting mixture if it is cool to initial temperature and pressure. Okay. So, this is again hydrocarbon as I already told you carbon hydrogen. So, what are the products formed? Carbon dioxide and water. States of matter, this is gas, this is gas, CO2 is gas and water is in liquid state at room temperature. Okay. So, next thing is what? You have to balance this. Balancing is very simple. Carbon 1, hydrogen, there are uh, 4 here. So, you will make it 2. So, oxygen 2 plus 2, 4. So, 2 O2. Okay. That's it. Now, you know, one volume of this requires two volume of this and forms uh, one volume of CO2. From this, you can calculate resultant mixture. So, 80 cm cube they have used. For 80 cm cube, how much you need? 8 into 2, 160 cm cube. But how much they have taken? 200 cm cube. Then what is left there? Unreacted oxygen. How much? 200 minus 160 is equal to 40 cm cube. So in the resultant mixture, you have unreacted oxygen, which is 40 cm cube. Then volume of uh, CO2 formed is 1 is to 1. Therefore, it is again 80 cm cube. You should not write like this. What I told you in the first example, you have to write all of that. Okay, if you want full marks. So, resultant mixture will contain unreacted oxygen and CO2 formed is 80 cm cube. These two things are present. Don't worry about the water. Right? Okay, go to the next one. 40 cm cube of methane uh, reacts with chlorine as per the following equation. They have already given the equation. CH42Cl2 gives you CH2Cl2 plus 2HCl. All of these are gases. Calculate the volume of HCl gas formed and chlorine gas required. So, they particularly asked how much chlorine is used and how much HCl is formed. Very simple, right? This is one volume, requires two volume and produces two volume. So, 40 cm cube of methane. So, I will write here 40 cm cube will form how much? Two times means 80 cm cube of chlorine. And here again two volumes mean 80 cm cube of HCl, right? So the volume of HCl formed is 80 cm cube. Chlorine required is also 80 cm cube. Next, ah, this is interesting and uh, important question. Okay, pause it. Try to solve it yourself. Everything is same. So here 200 cm cube of ethene is burned in just sufficient air containing 20% oxygen. This point is important. Okay, containing 20% oxygen to form CO2 gas and steam. Steam means the water should be in gaseous state. If all measurements are made at a constant temperature pressure and 100 degrees Celsius, find the composition of the resulting mixture. So the reactants are again C2H4 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Since it is 100 degrees Celsius, so this is already gas, this is gas this is gas and water will be in the form of steam means this is also gas now you have to consider water volume as well while calculating the resulting mixture so first point balance the equation c2h4 plus o2 okay pause the video and balance the equation okay there are two carbons so i will make it two here four hydrogens i will make it two here oxygen how much two plus two plus Sorry, 2 into 4 plus 2, 6 means 3. So, this is balanced equation. What is the volume? According to galo sachs law, 1 volume of uh, ethene requires 3 volume of oxygen, forms 2 volume of CO2 and 2 volume of steam. Okay. What is the volume of uh, ethene taken? 200. 200 cm cube. So, 2 into 3, 600 cm cube of oxygen is taken and 2 into 2. 1 is to 2 means 400 cm cube of CO2 formed and 400 cm cube of steam is formed. But this is not the complete answer. What is left? Air containing. They have not taken pure oxygen. They have taken air. So, air contains only 20%. So, 20% of air is 600 cm cube. Therefore, remaining 80% is what? 80% of unreacted because only oxygen is reacted 
so 80 percent of unreacted air will be how much right so 600 into 80 by 20 so 2 1 2 4 2400 cm cube so final answer should be the resulting mixture contains 400 cm cube of co2 400 cm cube of steam and 2400 cm cube of unreacted air so that will be your final answer okay fine so next one this is also very easy 20 ml of hydrogen 10 ml of co and 20 ml of oxygen exploded together so again consider this what you have hydrogen you have co you have oxygen okay what will be the volume and composition of the mixture of gases after cooling to rt write each reaction separately so here what happens hydrogen will react with oxygen also carbon monoxide will react with oxygen so here you will get water here you will get co2 okay this is gas this is gas this will be liquid because cooling to room temperature this is gas this is gas and co2 is also a gas okay balance this uh, 2h2 plus o2 gives you 2h2o 2co plus o2 gives you 2co2 very simple now how much hydrogen taken 20 ml so for 20 ml how much you need 2 is to 1 half means 10 ml you need oxygen water nil because it is liquid here co again co how much taken 10 ml 10 ml 2 is to 1 means 5 ml oxygen is required and how much co2 is formed again 10 ml co2 because 2 is to 2 means 1 is to 1 ratio so total oxygen used 10 plus 5 15 ml right used but what they have taken here 20 ml of oxygen they have taken means there is some unreacted oxygen is equal to 20 minus 15 5 ml where it will be it will be in the resultant gaseous mixture therefore resultant gaseous mixture composition is 10 ml of co2 and 5 ml of unreacted oxygen don't consider water okay okay next one this one you can try it yourself okay a sample of coal has gas contained 45 percent hydrogen 30 percent methane 20 percent co 5 percent c2h2 by volume 100 ml of this gaseous mixture was mixed with 160 ml of oxygen and exploded calculate the volume and composition of resultant mixture when cooled to rt and pressure so here uh, you have to take different different uh, you know percentage is given so first i will give you the clue how to solve this solution so consider this this, this is all this is there is a gaseous mixture containing one two three four different gases so if you take 100 ml of gaseous mixture okay percentage is given right so in 100 ml of this gaseous mixture 45 percent hydrogen means 45 ml will be hydrogen 30 ml will be methane ch4 20 ml will be carbon monoxide and 5 ml will be c2h2 acetylene okay so then 100 ml they have taken now right huh. how much oxygen taken oxygen taken is 160 ml exploded means you have to write each reaction there are four reactions will be there which we already know in the previous sections we previous examples were h2 plus o2 ch4 plus o2 co plus o2 c2 h2 plus o2 all the reactions are there okay at room temperature if there is a product water forming you should consider it as liquid so don't consider while giving your answer of the resultant mixture so how much oxygen is used that you calculate total volume of oxygen used and if it is less than 160 then you have to also write unreacted oxygen okay i will give you the final answer just pause the video try yourself so final answer will be uh, oxygen un 
used or unreacted will be should be 55 ml you should get and uh, co2 formed will be 60 ml okay remaining will be water which you don't consider you will get here co2 here co2 and here co2 right so combine all these co2 gases total co2 you should get okay let me write total co2 gas in the resultant mixture should be 60 ml okay total volume if you add 115 ml okay so that should be your answer fine so this is about gay lussac's law of combining volumes in the next session we're going to learn about avogadro's law and uh, some simple numerical problems on that until then take care bye bye